Yo, Sanjo Che here, people. What's going on? So I know it's been a while since I did my last video. My apologies for that. And of course, um, you know, major shout out to the new subscribers, new and returning subscribers as well. But anyway, let's get right into today's video. Um, as I said, I apologize. I haven't been doing my million and one Boruto discussion videos, which I usually do in between Boruto chapters, between, you know, the recently released and the upcoming chapter. But for the most part, chapter 37 of Boruto, which mainly featured Naruto and Sasuke versus Jigen, there was only so much you know discussion topics I could really pull out of that chapter. So, yeah. Um, but at the same time, the Boruto anime has been doing some interesting things. Well, quote unquote, with the recent arc with Urashiki. So there's also that to talk about. I did one and two. Probably, you know, thinking back, and I did probably three videos at most after the chapter drop. So yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, getting into this video, guys, I just wanted to kind of get back up to speed with you guys before Borcha Chapter Thirty Eight dropped, um, which it should drop probably tomorrow, if not this weekend, probably Saturday or Sunday, maybe. So definitely look out for my review regarding Boruto Chapter 38. I'm sure it's going to be actually like well sick. You know, Naruto and Sasuke versus Jigen is going to continue. So it's going to be an interesting time. But let's get right into this video, this catch up video as I put it. Um, there's a few things I want to actually touch on before the chapter drops and you know talk about the anime for just a little bit. Now, first things first, Boruto Manga Chapter 38. Um, what can I expect? Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and make like too many predictions, um, just a few things here and there. Now, for the chapter, I am expecting the fight between Naruto and Sasuke versus Jigen to actually continue, um, no doubt about that. But unlike Boruto chapter 37, we, I, I am expecting much more of a presence or much more panel time from the side characters are the characters that are immediately important at this point, such as Kawaki, um, Sarada's arrived at Naruto's house, and Boruto's just about there, Boruto and Mitsuki. So there's definitely that to look forward to. I am expecting probably about half of the chapter to be about Naruto and Sasuke versus Jigen, that fight to continue, no doubt about that. But I am also expecting to get more exposition, more of an idea of what Jigen's mindset may be through probably dialogue and exposition or exchanges, little back and forth between Kawaki and Boruto and Kawaki and Sarada. Of course, with Sarada showing up and you know finding out what's happening, it should be an interesting or a, you know a nice way to start pulling Sarada back into the spotlight. And I did do a video on that where you know including Sarada more in the manga's concerned because I mean, if you've been reading the manga, you know that Sarada hasn't really been having much of a, you know, she hasn't been given much panel time or, you know, screen time or even time to shine for the most part. It's kind of delved or kind of gotten into the more of the Kawaki and Boruto, Naruto and Sasuke show. But at, at, well, no one's, no one's complaining at this point, I'd say, but, you know, as we go along, we start need to start including more of the side cast. And Sarada is going to be a potentially well, well, she's she's an important character, and she's going to be much more important in the chapters to come. So there's no doubt about that. At the end of the day, let me know what you guys think about you know Sarada getting you know more spotlight in the manga as we go along. Um, the next thing to consider as well is that going into the anime side of things we know the arc with urashiki started a few weeks back probably about a month now give or take um the latest episode as of this recording is episode 124 if i'm not mistaken you can always correct me in the comment section if i'm wrong about that but um while i'd still say the borta anime still isn't all that <laughs> to say the least with this arc it still has my interest um at least it's not like the previous episodes where it was like eh i've been watching and i've just continue watching you know it's sunday the episode comes out let's let's just watch it's not like that this this arc actually has my interest but it's still not the most groundbreaking um revolutionary thing in the world considering we're even 100 and 24 episodes in while some other anime can you know they're much more compelling the quality is so much better with even being like five Probably even two to three episodes in so 
yeah i mean it, it it really says something and i mean that probably speaks to the long running format of of things and probably transitioning to a seasonal anime may be the best thing you know i've even done a video on that when i even think about it yeah but anyway yeah um with the anime you now as i said it's 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 it has my interest but um in terms of my expectations and going forward towards the end of this arc because it doesn't seem like it's going to be a very long arc this arc has to really and truly decide the fate of Urashiki Otsutsuki whether it's going to be Sasuke coming in and killing him at the end or I don't know probably him retreating back to the Otsutsuki headquarters quote unquote because at the end of the day he hasn't made an appearance in the manga and at some point I don't know when the anime will adapt the manga but um no idea when that's going to be so at some point urashiki some decisive action in terms of that character's fate has to be taken and that i'm pretty sure we're going to see probably in the next two two to three weeks maybe as i said it doesn't seem like the arc is going to be that long i mean they can only drag it out for so long considering the power difference between boruto shinki and urashiki so yeah <laughs> there's definitely that that aside, the arc, uh, I think between the second episode of the arc, which was what, episode 122? Or was it 121? After the episode ended on the cliffhanger when Urashiki sent um, Sasuke away, the episode right after that and episode 124, I think have been my two favorite episodes in the arc so far. Um, reason being, episode 124 didn't really feel like it was dragging are stalling for time as much episode 122 was more or less the introduction or like you know the full-blown introduction into the arc where we got to see like shikaku garan action some nice animation pieces in that episode as well so well probably just that one where you know gar was using the sun against urashiki and he was dodging that one scene you know what i'm talking about so yeah there's definitely that to consider as well um yeah, but that's for as much as I can say about the arc. I mean, it's only what three, four episodes in, and it has my interest. Um, it definitely should be tying things up to, you know, ensure things flow into the manga at some point with Urashiki's fate being decided. That's my expectations. That's what I'm going to predict is going to happen. Well, in terms of him either you know retreating or dying whichever whichever works i mean even though urashiki is, is he's a pretty fun character i'd say so i mean i'd want to see how he interacts with um, other characters in the future so probably him re you know retreating back to another dimension until he shows up in the manga again probably might be the best move um probably at some point they reference him so in the manga that would be good just to tie up loose ends so yeah <laughs> there's that so anyway, um, it feels kind of good to be back and doing videos again, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys for Boruto Manga Chapter 38. Um, it's been very, bit, apart from the fact that um, not much happened in Chapter 37 to warrant a million and one discussion videos, I've been kind of caught up with um, life <laughs> for the most part, so that's why I haven't really been uh, posting as much in the uh, past few weeks so i kind of apologize for that um but yeah i hope you guys can come back on we can have some you know nice discussions in the comment section as we usually do um rate comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one of course if there's anything else you guys want to see me cover or talk about you can always um you know drop your suggestions i mean i usually i used to cover a lot of dragon ball if you really go back <laughs> through my videos you'll see but uh, I've been really behind on Dragon Ball where that's concerned. I've basically been just relying on, you know, various reviews and update videos that have been going on through the community here on YouTube to actually like stay abreast in terms of what's going on, actually. So, yeah, there's that for the most part. Anyway, um, Sanji Uchiha, rate, comment, subscribe, people, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Have you guys, well, you guys just have a great day or whenever you're listening to this.